tremendous contribution uh, in Iraq. Their, their troops were fantastic. Uh, they, they laid it on the line. Honorable members, honorable senators, the President of the United States of America. On behalf of the Parliament, Mr. Uh, President of the Senate, today uh, the terrorists oppose nations such as the United States and Australia not because of what we have done, but because of who we are and because of the values that we hold in common. And the terrorism, and we should remind ourselves of this again and again, is as much the enemy of Islam as it is the enemy of Judaism or Christianity. The Honourable, the Leader of the Opposition. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Now, the Australian perspective is bound to differ from time to time with the perspective of the United States. And, of course, on occasions, friends do disagree, as we did on this side with you on the war in Iraq. Yeah. But such is the strength of our shared values, our interests, our principles, that those differences can enrich rather than diminish they can strengthen rather than weaken the partnership. Can't you see that our world has become far, far more volatile and fragile? <laughs> and a representative of the Higgs family in our gallery. I'm sorry. This is a parliament disconnected from the people in the service of a visiting foreign head of state who does not respect this country. I have on my lapel the pictures of Mr Hicks and Mr Habib. They are two Australians, and the message to George Bush, because our Prime Minister is too obsequious to raise it, is to repatriate our Australians to our soil for justice, as you have repatriated your Americans from the torture centre in Guantanamo Bay. If he sees this speech and if he's got feeling for human rights and justice, as he says, he will do something about having my husband return back home. He's committed no crime, crime being committed against him. There's a process, ongoing process, to deal with these two uh, uh, people that were picked up off of a battlefield of war.